So we're down to, I think, just over 40 hours and yeah, I think we've kind of gone into this cycle of we get freaked out about the time and then we realize we have to rescope and then we rescope and things are a little bit better again. I think we're in one of the little bit better again times right now. Um, so right now it's pretty good, but give it a day. I'm very tired. I know. People are no, I don't want you playing here. Ah, I'm an application. Ah. Actually, it's an application. Ah. Yeah. I created you. Hi, I'm Saul. I'm a writer and marketing guy and designer for C3 Studios. At the moment, I am working on the script for the game. It's kind of a social satire, but also like a mathematical, quirky kind of sci-fi thing. The main character is a triangle. The game starts, he's on the run. And the player's not entirely sure why, but he's being chased by the, the city guards. He ends up falling in with some revolutionaries and then kind of getting up to fight the system. The, the whole kind of concept of C3 Studios is Firstly, that we make a game quickly, but also that we show as much of our processes as we possibly can. We've got a blog, we've got a Twitter going all the time, Facebook posts all the time, articles on Kotaku. I really like working with these guys, it's, it's really easy atmosphere. Um, generally, it's all very calm and peaceful. A few times things have got a bit heated in terms of you know, software glitches driving people a bit nuts. <laughs> On the other day, Paul let out a few expletives. But, um, yeah, there's, there's never any uh, any issues between the team members. Like, we, we all kind of support each other and, and work really well as a team. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, God, the, the rain is like tiny little mortars. God, they've ruined everything. Well, my name's Michael Richardson. I'm a yet to be voice actor, writer, uh, general dog's body around the office where we're finally uh, getting to the stage where I'm uh, needed in the process and it's looking really exciting. So the, the character that I'm voicing is the protagonist uh, of the game and he's also the narrator uh, and he's sort of the frame story uh, of the game where he's retelling the events to the player uh, after this uh, big thing has happened and I, I can't spoil anything because it's all very secret and understand. He's a very much an anti-hero and he's a very uh, self-serving protagonist which is a lot of fun to work with these guys uh, is fantastic like it's the type of studio that I always hoped existed in Sydney uh, but never found nor found it. I, I love watching voice actors work because there's something really uh, really special about the process that you don't sort of see any, anywhere else. Yeah working with Everyone is, it's, it's a very laid back process, which, which isn't to say that we don't get anything done, because we get a lot done, but um, it's very, you know, uh, friendly and very casual, and it's exactly the kind of work environment that you'd want to have. I hate bugs that happen half the time. Is it exactly half the time? Uh, hi, my name's Tom, I'm a programmer here at C3 Studios. Um, what drew me to this project really is, it's kind of like a small team, small indie team. I just graduated last year, so um, yeah, it can be a lot of fun and rewarding as well. The main mechanic is uh, basically splitting up primitive shapes, um, so that had to be one of the very first things uh, I worked on. It's a pretty complex problem, it's nothing I've really done before. Um, basically, you have to build points, build, build meshes, uh, 3D meshes from points and then you can split them up in any direction from any position. In a three-week project, uh, it's not so great to have kind of unknowns or things you haven't done before, but uh, that was one of them. Um, it, was, it was challenging at the beginning, uh, but we got through it. There's not a lot of time for planning. Uh, you kind of have to know a very broad uh, knowledge of game development programming. We're making this project in three weeks. It's um, very kind of experimental for us. It will be very interesting to see what we come up with. So one of the things we've just put in is a rain system, and rain is something that we've been thinking about a lot. Because rain works from top to bottom in this world that is flat, it actually has a profound impact on how people are on, on social structure, so it's something that we really want to include. And so we kind of decided that the rain was going to be a little bit more crazy than in the book. Um, we've made it so it's very heavy, it's actually rather dangerous, and it actually knocks you down in the side. So if it's raining really heavily, it's, it becomes quite hard to get up around the place. And it's kind of fun. We're going to be having a pay what you want system 
um, where you're going to pay what you want after you've played the game for a more in-depth look where we're actually going to put together some commentary and that sort of thing. We're just developing as a company, we're going to be very open as stuff about how we're building that and we're hoping to really be a case study for other people wanting to set up their own indie studios. So yeah, stay tuned, please help us out by checking a few dollars our way and yeah, um, look out for our games.